Hello there. I'm an artificially intelligent voice assisted by Hydraga. Hydraga watched multiple movies involving some weird monster going on a rampage during the 2000s and 2010s. Let's see what these movies are. First is Sharktopus. Sharktopus is interesting as it is partially based off of an old 1970s creature called Devil Fish where a carnivorous fish top half and cephalopod bottom half eat people. The Devil Fish is a Dunkleistus and Sharktopus fought multiple other crimes against nature. Terracuda was illegally made by some rich billionaire and Whalewolf was illegally made by some Nazi scientists. Since Werewolf uses human DNA as well, the trilogy makes less and less sense over time. Sharktopus has a Chinese remake, but it hasn't been released into the Seal Nation yet. We'll have to wait for it on a later date, but for now, Sharktopus gets an impressive 7 out of 10. Not bad, but could have been better. Next up is Piranaconda. This is a standalone movie by itself. The movie is funny in that Piranaconda survived the movie, but don't get a sequel. This may have many reasons, but one of them includes the loss of humans because at the end of the movie, they're all either shot or eaten. It gets a solid 6 out of 10. Over the top and super ADHD filled adventure, but not enough story. Next up is Dino Croc vs. Super Gator. This film mainly consists of dialogue heavy lore to compensate for the lack of story in the original films, Dino Croc and Super Gator, respectively. Hydraga hasn't seen Dino Croc or Super Gator, just the crossover film. Apparently, it's about another rich dude who wastes money on both of the beasts in the movie, however, he was supposed to spend it on solving world hunger, kinda like the real world. Dino Croc vs. Super Gator gets 8 out of 10, good lore and good action balance. We're gonna skip to the late 2010s and 2020s for these next three films. Land Shark, as of writing, is already a Chinese remake of another similar shark film. Anyway, it's about solving world hunger by creating a shark worm hybrid, kinda like Sharktopus, but the beast already roams on land. Overall, this film isn't that interesting other than that, and it gets a 5 out of 10, decent enough, but it needs much more improvement. Next up is Serpent of Death. This movie was influenced by China's need to make a crap ton of snake-related content. Monster Python Devil Snake, King Snake Dinosaur vs. Python, and so on and so forth. A biologist teacher gets fired from his job after an incident with a snake. He gets hired by a cancer patient to go find a cure. In his book on speculative evolution and prehistory, the cancer patient notes about a fictional fruit capable of curing cancer. However, during the journey, they encounter bomb fruit, man-eating plants, big fish and bigger snakes. And of course, like in the real world, the cancer patient is a rich man who wants to take it for himself. The movie gets a 7 out of 10. Madness intensifies. Also some humor sprinkled in there. Next is Metamorphosis. After a janitor accidentally let loose a dinosaur by a wee pond, the entire lab has to find a solution on how to obtain it. But every time it dies, it comes back to life and gets stronger. Along the way, there are two snakes. One that is a pet who helps the crew, and another that is wild and evil. The movie gets an 8 out of 10. Pretty cool movie. Just wish they did more.
So now that we're done with that, let's go on to the next two movies. First is Dino Shark, and similar to Piranaconda, Dino Shark is a real living creature and not some alien or bioweapon. However, similar to Shark Debus, his beasts travel from the United States to Mexico for some convenient reason. The design is cool and gets a 7 out of 10, however, it should be noted how emotionless the main characters get when another character is brutally eaten in front of their faces, and how the dino shark acted like it was paralyzed when it simply tanked a grenade in the last 10 minutes of the movie. Hydraga unfortunately hasn't watched Komodo vs. Cobra yet, but he wants to when he gets the chance, so that we'll extract more data on this topic. It shows a small tip in an iceberg that has a crap ton of other movie monsters and most of these aren't the popular ones like Godzilla, Dracula, Frankenstein's creature King Kong, or Transformers. Thanks for joining us in this silly ride.